So today we'll be talking about something interesting. These are Android's most powerful processors, MediaTek Dimensity 9200 and MediaTek Dimensity 8200. The 9200 is the flagship Android chip for 2023. By the way, this video is made in collaboration with MediaTek. And for the entire year, you would have seen we tried a lot of MediaTek phones, like Nord 2T with Dimensity 1300, like Vivo X80 with Dimensity 9000, even Poco M4 with Dimensity 700. And here's the interesting part. Poco M4 was the cheapest 5G phone with seven 5G bands, all important for India. Vivo X80 was again a 50,000 phone with a performance better than a flagship phone. We did a dedicated video over here. But the thing is, MediaTek provides better performance at a lower price tag. So the MediaTek phones you will see are more affordable while offering the same high-end performance. Now, in case you don't know, MediaTek is the world's fourth largest semiconductor company from Taiwan. And while making this video, I saw a very interesting thing. This is global smartphone chip market share. And MediaTek has the most number of processors in all smartphones. I didn't know that. And not just smartphones, even this TV has a MediaTek chip. In fact, most of the TVs have a MediaTek chip and MediaTek powers some 2 billion devices per year. With that, let's talk about the flagship MediaTek chip, Dimensity 9200. Wow, like look at this. If you see, the chip is even smaller than this one rupee coin. Now, smartphone processors are a bit different. In simple words, Dimensity 9200 processor is divided into three parts. The biggest is Cortex X3, which is the most powerful and runs at 3.05 gigahertz. Next is the A7 core, which is smaller, like three in the space of one, at 2.85 gigahertz. And finally, A5 cores, which are four, but run at 1.8 gigahertz. Now these A7 and X3 cores, the faster they run, the more battery they consume. So for smaller tasks, WhatsApp and social media browsing, you use this smaller A5 cores. For heavier tasks like camera and complex app, this A7 core is used. And when you play a high-end game, the biggest Cortex X3 is used. This is very powerful and one of the fastest cores in Android smartphone history. If you compare to last year Dimensity 9000, it is 10% faster and consumes 25% less power. And similar to these cores, a smartphone processor also has GPU, NPU, ISP, etc. It uses TSMC 4 nanometer process. The Dimensity 9200 supports LPDDR5X RAM and UFS 4.0 storage. Now the thing is, whenever you load a game or a program, it is loaded from the storage then to the RAM and then to the CPU. So now the faster the storage and the RAM, your game will load quickly. And sometimes when you open a lot of apps in your smartphone, the app last in the background has to reload. And this process takes a lot of time. With faster RAM and storage, these tasks will also be faster. If the mobile manufacturer used UFS 4 and LPDDR5X, I'm very excited to test out Dimensity 9200 phones. Let's see how they perform in real life. Also, there are a lot of first time ever in Dimensity 9200. You get Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 7, and ray tracing on the GPU. In case you don't know, we previously tried ray tracing games on a laptop and the graphics, ooh. In fact, even the reflection in the game, like see here, you can see the character can see itself in the reflection on the photo frame. This makes the game more real life and engaging. However, you would need supporting hardware and game in order to play ray tracing games on a smartphone. Vivo X90 Pro has launched with Dimensity 9200 in China. So when that comes to India, we'll get it and subscribe so that you don't miss out on it. Also, Dimensity 9200 supports a quad HD resolution with up to 144Hz refresh rate and full HD plus resolution with up to 240Hz refresh rate. And also see here, Dimensity 9200 has four different engines for better gaming. This should lead to faster gaming performance and better FPS. Now, camera is the most important aspect of a smartphone. The Dimensity 9200 can not only do 8K 30 FPS, but you can also do up to 108 megapixel photos with zero shutter lag. Like, let me show you. This is an 108 megapixel phone and let me take a photo in this 800 megapixel mode and now I'm waving my hand slowly and now I click a photo now when you see there is no hand in the photo but when I hit the shutter there was a hand in the frame now the time between you hitting the shutter and the camera actually taking the photo is called shutter lag so with Dimensity 9200 this 108 megapixel shutter lag problem should be solved also normally Dimensity 9200 supports up to 320 megapixel camera now similar to Dimensity 9200 you have Dimensity 8200 this is a successor to Dimensity 8100 which you saw in one plus 10R or Redmi K50i. Now, Dimensity 8200 follows the same one plus three plus four structure, but here you have the same one A78 core clocked at 3.1 gigahertz, three A78 cores clocked at 3.0 gigahertz, and four A55 cores clocked at 2.0 gigahertz. Dimensity 8200 supports LPDDR5 RAM and UFS 3.1 storage. The good thing is Dimensity 8200 is now four nanometer, just like Dimensity 9200. So generally, lesser the nanometer, lesser heat is produced. This is an upgrade for Dimensity 80. 100, which was 5 nanometer. Now again, we'll know the practical smartphone performance when we see smartphones in 2023 coming with Dimensity 8200 processor. Also, iQOO Neo 7 will be the first phone to launch with MediaTek chip 
in India. That would be interesting to see because iQOO is known for performance and they haven't launched a MediaTek phone yet. As of other features, Dimensity 8200 supports 4K 60fps. It also supports HDR video recording from three cameras at the same time. And even cinematic video with background blur from two cameras at the same time. Now, of course, you would be like, Pratik, smartphones might not use that, right? Maybe or maybe not. But it's good that the processor is capable of doing it. In terms of display, Dimensity 8200 supports Quad HD resolution with up to 120Hz and Full HD Plus resolution with up to 180Hz. So that was it. A quick video on MediaTek Dimensity 9200 and Dimensity 8200. On that note, this is Pratik signing off. See ya in the next video.